Hey folks, I'm back. Um, right after the previous episode for me, but probably like a week or two for you guys. Um, so, let's continue. Okay, where were we? We were in the catacomb, yes. Looking for an exit. We had just found an archaeologist's note. He was confused about why there were cubes everywhere. An engraved sarcophagus with a preserved corpse, of course. It's an engraved of a halfling that's in the fetal position. Okay. Crackling to the northeast. Hmm. So over here? Okay. Sparkling berry. Is there a door? Oh wait, there's no doors in the catacombs. Whoops. <laughs> south. South. Okay, so there's something going on in that area which I can't seem to get to right now. Um, okay. What are you? A statue, right? Reptilian shape about it. It's engraved as a dune, so we learned that the reptilian shape thing is called a dune. Um, engraving of a brown fungus. Yep. Holy f That thing killed us, EB. <laughs> I got way too confident there, you guys. This episode has been literally one minute. Um, uh, that's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> well, but <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if I should post this as a separate episode or just append it. Um, or maybe append this at the at the beginning of another episode, just to give you guys like a a bit of a face heel turn, maybe. But anyway, <laughs> we just died. Rip. Um, I need to add the ability to name your characters in this game because he did really well. I mean, we got to dungeon level seven. We got almost a section three, you guys. There's ten sections. We got like thirty percent through the game. And then we encountered a weird catacomb and all that other cool stuff. Anyway, see you folks. I'll probably start up another episode right after this. It'll probably be the same episode. Goodbye. Hey folks, this is Untrusted Life, back here with another Let's Play. Well, to be fair, the assassin died a minute ago. <laughs> this episode will still be titled Assassin Part 3, though. Anyway, hopefully better quality as well going on right now. Bard! They they do magic. That's kind of their thing. They don't they start with not good weapons at all, but good magic. The Song of Fire and the Song of Poison and Bind Monster. Uh, hopefully I roll good. Alright, how'd I roll? Forty one concentration, not bad. Fifty inducement, eh. <laughs> Lucky and poison D's. Or was it a B? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, good armor. So, like I said, we start with bad, bad armor. Now, now we'll we'll be less likely to die. Okay. And if I recall correctly, the spell that I have also stuns the enemy for a few turns. So, if I cast Song of Poison on this A here, who I don't know what they are, we'll kill them immediately. Yes, it will. Also stuns them and they dance for a few turns. Like that's literally the description in game. Is oh yeah, it makes them dance. What are you? You just keep coming out of nowhere. A dinosaur. It has eight eyes. A green slime drips forth from a, from its ma. Um. Uh, this thing can't hurt us anymore unless it gets a critical hit. So basically, here's the spells. Okay, they have song of the bard has song of fire. This song, which is a, is a spell made by by connecting multiple runes together, which is something I'd like to allow just the player to do on their own is connecting runes together to make spells. But anyway, um, the support for it is in the game already. 
Um, harms any creature just cast spot for four. Fire damage while stunning them for several turns. In what can only be described as an unstoppable magical dance. This is the same as the fire one, except for poison. Um, and then we have a bind monster, which allows us to attempt to compel whomever we can cast it upon to protect us. We roll inducement for a DC of the target's inquiry skill, plus 50. So, basically, um, we, we have 50, um, inducement right now, which means that plus 50 is null and void. We're just rolling against their skill. Um, if successful, the caster looks into the target's spine and compels them to protect them. If failed, it has no effect. That one doesn't stun them, so we can only cast it on monsters we're sure will join us. And the monsters have various, um, inquiry on them. Inquiry basically represents their intelligence. And some have more than others. Like, it'll be harder for us to compel a realmling to join us. And, in fact, nearly impossible. It'll be easy for us to get any any random monster to join us. Ooh, a bear. Three defense, five poison resistance. What do you do? Two defense and two poison So this is just better all around. And then let's just... I mean, we can throw it at somebody, I guess. Also, I have my air conditioner off, so it's a bit warm in here. Also, we're trying to get to level 40. Drink from fountain. That's how you win the game. Direct drink from fountain. What do we get? Magical fire dagger. Okay. This is better than anything we already had. So now, now we're in a good we're in a good situation. We're well equipped. Um. Uh, I'm gonna examine you because I'm curious what you look like. It has horrible violet eyes, a giant monstrosity with a circular shape and long limb. It has a body. It makes its home in the dark, damp place. Good, good to know it has a body. Poison. And a venom sprite. We don't want to touch that. The exit in here. It's an engraved fountain. What engraving do you have? Rat-like creature being attacked by a realm link. Engraved wooden door. Bow, it is striking down a Skrex. A uh, mass grave room. Flesh knife, I mean fish knife. A beating heart. A good corpse to eat. Cut up skeleton, another cut up skeleton. Oh, consume. There we go. <laughs> uh, our misery is We didn't need to cast a spell on that So we're pretty good now Eh, find you There we go, now we have a friend They're gonna follow us around when they can pathfind to us, anyway. Hey, buddy. Buddy, buddy. Buddy, what are you doing, buddy? Okay. There must be something behind there that it wants. Oh. Yeah, there was a monster. It was like, I want to kill that. There you go. Come on. He'll kill whatever he sees. He can see better than us in the dark. Flame Dwarf, uh... Whoa, we picked that thing up and then we rolled swiftness and we passed. <laughs> and so it didn't hurt us? That was just me being lucky. I didn't mean to... I didn't realize it was a flame thing. That could have killed me instantly. <laughs> We're having good luck this run. Um, hopefully I can actually beat the game, you guys. Although it might take a while. And it's a bit late. Well, it's, at, it's only 9 p.m. So if we end up a puff termite, it's a puff blood termite to be honest, to be fair. Um, uh, oh, it bit our friend. Friend is down to three hit points. I 
mean, I really don't want to be bitten by those guys, but man, they would be useful to eat in a pinch. <laughs> what do we have? Two healing potions. You know, I should add a spell that lets you stun vermin, or like a turn or two. Did they kill my friend? God damn it. I mean, that could have been us, to be fair. <laughs> Recruiting Graven with the words, Te Jzik Okern. Um, uh, that actually is translatable once you find the right materials. <laughs> like, that you can, like, figure it out. Like, it's like a puzzle. It, it um, I, I don't know if I want to spoil what it says. Um... <sighs> But there's like a whole language in this game that is, uh, cite is a cipher that you can translate. I think this thing has high comp. Oh yeah, so they just had 29 inquiry. Wait, no, we rolled the D100 plus 50. They had 62 inquiry, so they're very. These friends, th these friends will protect us and will also detect monsters for us. But they don't follow us downstairs yet. It's unfortunate. Um, a swirling brown portal. I don't want to go through that right now. I could. Could retrace the steps of our previous character. But. I'd rather not. To be fair, the ending is pretty um, subpar in, right now in this game. That's why it's in development. Like, you kill the demon, woo! Good job. No. <laughs> it's like banish it or something, and it's ridiculous. <laughs> um, then you win. It's pretty much luck based. Like, did you get the right ruin in time? <laughs> um, but the experience, the what, what what I care about is the experience of playing the game. If that's fun, then everything's worth it. The Venom Sprite says, "Hey, listen, no, I'm not gonna listen to you, Venom Sprite. I'm sure you have a wonderful story to tell. You can tell me lots and lots of secrets. Don't follow me. Anyway, you open the. F oh, I open the. D God damn it." Wait, I close it now. It cries helplessly. I don't care if you're crying. <laughs> Is that an engraved door? No, it's just a normal door made from iron bars. <clears throat> Gosh darn it, I have to go back into the room with the Venom Sprite? Uh, it's gonna be like, hey, listen! Wait, is that an that's engraved. Image of a square surrounded by mist. Interesting. More squares. Squares killed our previous character. <laughs> I don't actually know. No, the previous character died from uh, cultists or whatever, didn't it? Didn't it? <laughs> I don't remember. It's been a couple days. <laughs> um. Hey, dinosaur. If I bind you, will you still dig? Oh yeah, you do, don't you? Apparently there is some armor. Maybe he'll dig a bit. Find us. Why do I keep picking up the flaming dwarf beaver? <laughs> we avoided getting burned again with a really good roll, 87 <laughs> <laughs> I have two flaming dwarf beavers. I suppose I can throw them at people, right? Um. <laughs> I've had a stressful weekend, you guys. Okay, door. Oh, my D was digging. <laughs> He's just destroying everything. <laughs> 
Where did you go, buddy? <laughs> he's just ran off digging. It's okay. There he is. Occasionally he pops up, then he digs. Digs a little bit. <laughs> I like how he's just digging. He's like a dog. Starts with a D as well. Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, I should not have. Um, it's like compelled to dig or whatever in the description, right? I sh it's not the best thing for me to compel to protect me. But at least it'll dig around me, right? Hopefully, maybe? <laughs> maybe it'll just run off and do its own thing for a while. <laughs> if I could convert every D on the level, like, I would I would be able to safely navigate the um, the caves they make without being afraid of dying to them jumping out at me. Oh look, two of them. Are you my friend? Yes you are. <laughs> like this level is so like destroyed by their digging. I mean it's not destroyed, it makes the the, the level more interesting, right? More items to pick up because they drop items when they dig. Like. <laughs> hmm. Water potion. Uh, give me like five seconds. My voice is very parched. Hello, I'm back. I drank a little bit of water. Um, I should have probably gotten a glass of water, but I'll be fine. Okay. I don't like this level because it's just way too dark. Um, I'd just like to get out of here. Now... To be fair, it looks darker on my screen than it does actually in-game. Because my screen is just weirdly dark. Yeah, I ate that just so I could, um... Be in the course of a sapient creature, blah blah blah. Oh. That's why their inquiry was so high. The graving of a skeet is here. It's kind of bird. It might actually be, though. <laughs> like, it gen I, is that an actual bird? I think that, yeah, people go skeet shooting, right? So it actually generated a real bird. Like, huh. Interesting. Okay, I cannot find the exit, you guys. All right, let's 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 look around a little bit more. Like it has to be somewhere. So it, I'm missing it. Maybe it's behind that door. It's underneath the statue. You cannot phase through floors. Yep, I know. Um, down here? Nope, that's a cave. This level has been so um Swiss Swiss cheesed. Um, by the various monsters that I cannot seem to find the exit. <laughs> um... It's gotta be there somewhere. Okay, let's take a close look at everything. Alright, so uh, there's a diagonal over here I did not check. Okay, good. It is not there. I believe the A's make little tunnels, don't they? 
So if one of the A's managed to get into one of these caves, but the A's could have dug some stairwells, the D's can't dig stairwells. So. So that's what I'm looking for now. Oh. And you know what? Might be right here. Yeah. It's not. This is an interesting situation to be in. Well, we could always take the um the alternative exit. <laughs> um to save on the time looking for the exit. That's a thing we can do. There's a corpse there. Red City Mead. Your laughter to the southeast. Okay. That's the sprite, though. right here. Okay. I'm just very carefully... I will find the exit. That'd be another interesting spell to add, is like, reveal the exit. Then people can get that. Don't have to spend time looking for the exit. Other, um, roguelikes have that. In some cases, what is it, like, a cartography? Like, the, they'll, they'll find, like, a map of the level randomly, and it'll be like, hey, this is, this is what it looks like. checking underneath doors. Shouldn't be. I am seriously considering taking the alternative exit. The, the stairs are always somewhere on the level. Like... You'll never not have the stairs on a level. I'm dehydrated? What? Uh, eat the apple, I suppose? It's actually reducing my stuff quite a bit. That's when I drink a bottle of misery again. That re yeah, no, that that's a bad idea. <laughs> um, I could quaff this poison potion. Yep, and then quaff a healing potion. Now I'm good. That's another trick you can use. If you have an antidote, that would work as well. All of the tips and tricks directly from the developer. Darn it, game. I stand up, I can see my giant screen better. Okay. Now I can actually see my screen better. Now I can look for the exact opening. Game. 
this room is a bit suspect. Oh, there it is. Damn it. Not it. Okay. I'll be right back when I found the exit. 